Hello and welcome to another episode of Shining Force. Today we're in the town of Dragonia and we desperately need to find the guy who can bring our characters back to life. This is an item shop, so if you need healing items, which I never personally use, maybe stupidly, that's the place to go. There's the headquarters. I don't actually know where the priest is to be honest. Here is a... I can't remember what this is. There's a broadsword and there's also a shower of heal. So let's see which one this is. A halberd as well. Yes, there is a halberd here too. I don't know who can use that. Who gets the halberd? Somebody who's not carrying a lot, I think. Domingo can have it for now. I don't know who can actually use that. I don't know where this goes. Another building around here. I really don't want to start the battle uh, without bringing everyone back to life first. So I think that's a, that's a thing you can do to uh, continue the plot. Or is it? Well, maybe it's not. Let's go talk to that guy and see what happens. I should stop being such a pussy. Hey, go away! I don't want to fight, okay? Just go away! Blue, this person's our friend. He's here to help. Stop shaking, baby. Oh, Karen, you're so mean. Just leave me alone. No, let me have the chest. Just leave me alone. I want the chest. I was worried about Blue, so I followed you. I really think it's hopeless. I'm disappointed in you, Blue. Help, help, Blue. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't want to do this. That's Karen's voice. I wanted to bring people back to life. Okay, that's the Shower of Cure. Not 100% sure what that does. I think it cures everyone. So I'm going to give that to someone. I'm probably wasting my time. I probably need to restart because um, I don't want to start the battle yet. And I think I just did. Now, what I wanted to do was find the guy to bring my characters back to life because we're really going to need him. This is like the first tough fight of the... Well, dragon, if you want to see this girl, open that shrine door. Blue, don't listen to him. Remember, you're a sacred dragon. No! What are you going to do about it anyway? Blue spews fire. Ah! I'm not very confident yet, but I'll try my best. Blue joins the shiny balls. Now, I'm sure he's a very good character, but uh, I can't be bothered to, like, figure that out. And the walkthrough didn't actually say anything about making sure to use him. So I'm just not going to use him. I'll return to Rudo. I have to tell everybody that Blue found his courage. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I wish somebody would tell me where the friggin' uh, priest was, because, like, you know... I'm not going to talk to him yet. I think that engages the battle. Where are you, priest? Uh, is it, this is the broadsword. Okay. Did I give the shower cure to someone? There we go. I don't think Max can use that until he's promoted, though. Let's see. Yeah. He can't. That's fine. It's this guy again. Hi again, this is Dragonia. So where are all the dragons? Oh, you just missed them, mate. Maybe this building here has the priest in it. Damn it! There's no priest in this damn village. What is that about, man? Oh, I haven't been in here yet. Yeah, this is just some dragon dude. Oh. Ah, this is frustrating. What are you supposed to do? Should I, like, cast Egress and then, uh... Will that take me back to the previous town? Will that work? Let's try it. Max cast Egress, but nothing happens. Great! Great, I might actually be screwed, unless he's down here. Oh, thank God, he's here. Welcome, Max, I've been expecting you. How can I help you on the Shining Force? Right. That was a bit of a relief. Yeah, 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 I've got loads of money. Luke has been revived, yeah. I think, uh... 
Who else was it? Mari or something? Anri. Anri needs reviving. No, she doesn't. She's hands, yes. Definitely need hands. Nope. Sod off. I'm done. I'm tempted to bring that dragon to the party. What level is he? What's his name again? It was, uh... Blue. Oh, he's only level 9. It'd be crap. What's the point in making him level 9 at this point in the game? Where's my save button? Okay, now we talk to this guy here. I think this is Kane. Remember me, Max? I'm not going to do the voice. Kane of Runefaust. Ready for your last fight? Go back to your headquarters and get ready. Then you'll meet your doom. I just bloody went there. Jerk off. What do you want me to do in my headquarters anyway? <laughs> I'm at my headquarters. Now what? What do you want? Do I have to talk to that guy over there? This is some of my party members. There's the dragon. Just practicing my tail whip. Yeah, maybe you should practice more with your fire breath. I'm gonna speak to this guy and see if he... Well, Max, are you ready to face the enemy? Yes. Went to headquarters. Why? Uh, I went back to my headquarters. Okay, and now we get... Okay, I see. Excellent. Ha! I knew you couldn't hide in there forever. Come on out, little hero. Max, be careful. Remember that Kane killed Varios. Okay, so this fight you have to be super careful because there are some pretty strong enemies, including Kane, who can one-shot you if you don't have 35 health. Um, so just take it easy, don't go nuts. Just uh, move forward just ever so... Oh, there's some gargoyles. Okay, you need to take care of these gargoyles first. I did not know they were there. They are quite strong, okay? So, careful with those. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. I'm tempted to cheat and just, like, reload. I'm not going to, don't worry. I'll probably die anyway, to be fair. That sucked, though. I completely missed. I would have been very happy. Oh, then he would have been dead if, uh... I've already forgotten his name. If the wolf had hit him. Okay. She's probably going to die again soon. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's alright. As I always used to say. As long as she gets some experience. And levels up! And gains a lot of magic points, which is really good because she is a magic user. Yeah, take care of the gargoyles first before you engage the uh, golems. You see, the enemies in this map are a bit more aggressive than them. That's something. I'm gonna sit here with Gort and protect the mage a little bit if I can. See, we've got two Dora hands in this map, so that's tricky already. She can't do anything. He can't do anything. Nope, you're staying there for a minute. Huh. Interesting. Well, that makes things a little bit more uh, easy for me. I don't think Zydo's going to miss again. Yeah! I'm actually going to take that one out. She's almost ready for promotion. If she levels again, I can actually get someone promoted in this map. I think the game does intend for you to promote at level 10, but the fact is, like I've said before, from what I've read, 
It's much better to do it at level 20 in the long run. Just stat-wise, you're going to be better off. There we go, gargoyles are taken care of. Easy. Boom. So now we've got to take care of... This is where the, the difficulty of the map uh, increases, because obviously you have to take care of the golems and the goddamn mages and... Oh, you know with... Oh, that's hands, isn't it? I thought it was Diane. Okay. I was going to say Diane could take care of that... Um, take care of that either there. I'm going to move hands just a little bit. I'm not going to... I want Diane to go forward so he can attack the ranged units and they can't attack him. Let's just move Max forwards a little bit. I think he's going to be fine just there. Same for Luke. Ah, here we go. It's Diane's turn. She's still a little bit too far away, I think. Yeah. I'm actually going to stay there. I don't think the golems attack until they're attacked. Better safe than sorry. That's uh, the rule for this map. And just move everybody back down after taking care of those gargoyles. And we're probably going to have to wait for Diane's turn again, aren't we? Well, we need to get everybody into position anyway. Let's just have him go there for a minute. After Diane goes, then we can have him fire at him. Okay, let's just be patient. Be patient. We don't want to rush into this. Those gargoyles do hit very hard. Not gargoyles. Golems. Okay, just... Easy does it. Oh, you're staying right there. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm going to actually uh, save it in case this goes horribly wrong. I'm going to attack this one here because he heals and that sucks. The last thing we need is uh, are these golems being healed every turn by this stupid bloody priest. And they're all bunched up as well, so I kind of want to get my mages into position too. He's going to heal himself, that's absolutely fine by me. He uses a heal spell that's way too powerful for the damage he took. He clearly just used a max heal, which did like 20 magic power to use. He's probably only going to be able to do one more heal, so that's useful. But hey, this is how you win this fight, so, you know. We'll arrange units and stuff into position. Okay, now she can do a big magic spell. She does have to get quite close, I think. Let's see. Blaze 3. Huh. That's interesting. So Blaze 3 might actually be uh, a more powerful version of Blaze 2. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, I'd have to be stood where bloody thingy is, I think. Unless I just stand right in front of them. It's kind of stupid. I still can't get... Oh, I can't... I can get four of them like that. Okay, that's worth it. If it means I'm going to do big damage. Yes, I one-shot at the golem. I'm one-shot two deadly attacks in a row. That's friggin' awesome. I just hope it was the one in front of me. It was. Good. And now I think Hans can finish off the... Uh, well, I do need to get the... Healer, I think. But I can take care of this golem. Hopefully he does enough damage. Come on, Hans. Oh my god, I should have gone for the bloody healer, shouldn't I? Well... This is bad. This is very bad. She's going to get uh, maged, I think, now. She's alright. Okay, good. <laughs> we can take care of the rest of them now. Let's see. We've got... We don't have Freeze 2 yet, do we? We do have Blaze 2, which we can use on these guys.
Okay, do it. So we got one going down. We did good damage to another, and the healer is dead. So that's something. That that paid off. Wow, we got over a grand for that. Good, 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 good. Let's actually take care of the golem because. Oh my god! And a terrible level up to boot. Now these mages are probably going to do big damage to us, unless we can take them out quickly. But it's fine. I can actually do uh, heal 2 and heal... Uh... Or I could just stand there and do it. heal 1. No I can't, I have to be next to them, okay. Thank you! Preferred of his magic points went up, but that's alright. It's Diane's turn. So, I, I had no idea Blaze 3 was a more powerful fire spell. That's actually really good. I thought it was um, more range. <laughs> I thought it just covered a bigger and uh, further area, but no. Damn. Uh, the other mage is probably going to do that as well, so we're probably going to lose a few characters. Unless we can get lucky and take one out. No, okay, our mages are dead. This is bad. This is very bad. That's going to make the fight very difficult. Without casters. We might still be able to pull it off, but I think we're probably doomed now. We really needed those guys for Kane. And it was probably quite stupid of me not to target the mages instead of the golems. I think I made that mistake before, you know, the last time I did this. Because I thought, oh, the golems, they're really tough. They're going to take out my... But yeah, I should have gone for these guys first. I know that now. So if I have to do this again off camera, then... Uh, I won't save state again for obvious reasons, because I might have just screwed up. Not having magic users that can do damage like they do? Yeah. Especially when they're all bunched up like that. Oh, Luke needs healing. <laughs> Actually, I think Diane needs healing. Nope, she's fine. What about Hans? Yeah, he definitely does. We still have some good ranged characters. It might be okay. But and the mages are only going to get killed in the first turn anyway. I just hate how it takes so long to get near the enemies. Easy does it. It's so great that Diane can hit them from that far away. It's too bad she's kind of weak. <laughs> but I mean, one damage is one damage. Isn't it? I'm actually going to target the main with her, I think. Okay, be very careful here.
Xylo's probably going to die. These Dura hands hit hard, and they're tough too. Oh, that might be better. Not making the mistake with the mazes again. Come on in, think you're so hard. Wow, he, he actually does a lot of damage. He's healed, isn't he? Yeah. I can't get near friggin... Okay, Zylo's dead. I'm really making a meal of this, aren't I? I mean, the really, really cheap way to do this fight is to just have Diane spam from really far away. Oh crap, he's more aggressive than I thought. Ah oh, man, I thought he just stood still like all the other bosses. Ah, crap. And you see he does like 36 damage per hit. Wow, okay. I had no idea that he moved in combat. That's going to make this interesting. There's no point in attacking him yet, because... He's just going to heal himself. We need to surround him. Looks like what I'm going to have to do is... Um, I'm going to have to, like bring him right down to one health off camera when I do this properly and then show you what the, the final scene of the battle so you're going to attack the Jurahan even though you only did one damage at best it's better than nothing huh I'm going to attack the Jurahan I don't care it won't make a difference. He'll, he'll just be fully healed again. Where's he going? Ah, this is really bad. <laughs> so bad. What am I doing? I'm going to have Max run all the way over here. He's not being a part of this. Can I hit the Duran? He's probably coming after her next. I just, I didn't expect him to come out like that. You see I'm running away with my healers. They don't get involved. Okay, now he's just standing there. I do not know why. I'm going to go over here so I can get that healer in a minute. I'm going to take out the Jurahan first. If he just, from now on, if he just stands there, that'd be really good, because I can take him out, like, diagonally. May reach level 20! Yay! Promotion looms! I'll show you how to do that later. In another video. And the High Priest gets one shot in. Good. Right. Now, we need to see if somehow we can take down this jerk. I'm not going to move Gort just yet. I'm going to get my ranged people in. In range. I'm going to attack Kane from afar. Do one measly damage. Oh, two damage. Whoa! I'm hoping that he stays exactly where he is and does not move. That'd be really nice. But honestly, I don't think we have enough characters to really uh, defeat him. Oh no, he's moving. Okay. That's bad news. Yeah, we're screwed. She just did 54 damage. Ouch. We are screwed, ladies and gentlemen. Unless I can do some super amazing, powerful crit. 
Oh no. <laughs> All right. He's probably healed now, isn't he? No, not quite. I think he heals about 15 or 20 per turn. That was a good. No, it wasn't. No, Max, you're not getting involved. You're staying right there. And Gort's dead. Yeah. 34 damage. <laughs> Friggin' hell. This, um, I'm also going to point out, this guy has um, an attack that can one hit kill you regardless of how much health you are or what level you are. He, he just he just can. He just has an attack that does that. It's a one hit kill move. Damn it, Ken! You're really not helping! Uh, he's probably going to go for... He's going for Ken, that's okay. Ken's been bloody useless so far anyway. Stupid knob. Friggin... Oh, I missed! Oh, I missed! What she... So it looks like Kane doesn't actually heal every round. Oh, that's why she missed. Okay. Nope, they're staying there. They're going to act as cannon fodder in a minute. Oh, he's running away. Where's he going? Fair enough. That's fine by me. It gives me an extra chance to do some more damage. Yeah, eight damage. Have that. I think he's looking for his healer friend, but he's not there. He's probably going to kill me now, right? Yeah, yeah. It had to happen. I'm probably going to have to send Max up or something. Even if Max only does one damage. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. What have I done? Where are you going? Hmm? Come here. Watch this. I bet I bet I don't even hit him, do I? Ah, oh, one damage! Whoa! And that's the end of that chapter. I did alright though. I learned that he doesn't actually heal every turn like a lot of bosses do. So that's something to look forward to. Um, so I'm going to have to do this fight again off camera. I will... The next video will be me fighting Kane again. Probably fighting him at full health. But th that was just... That was painful, wasn't it? I mean, what was I doing? I got two of my mages killed before I even got near him. And, and I just did not know that he moved. I thought he just stayed still like all the other bosses did. Well, it shows what I know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching me get, well, destroyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep watching my videos. Thank you very much.